What's up, guys? It's your boy, Don't Randy, back at it again with another video. Is we're gonna start the round of twelve today, or the round of thirteen today, with the one thousand bulbs one twenty-five from Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. The first round, well. It was it was like a roller coaster for us. Michigan was exceptional. Top fives across all the stages. Well no second I got sixth in stage two. But other than that no No fourth second second that's what it was. Fourth second second at Michigan in the first race, and then after that, we just fell off a cliff. Mortonsville, one stage point, finished two laps down in P11. And then the last race of Chicago, we did good. We got we got two. We got sixth and third in the stages, but then and we was in second place. When the pit stops happened, and then we got a slow pit stop, and then we got just drilled by um by oncoming traffic leaving the pits, and we finished like 13th or something like that. But we're in the we're in round two, a new store in as you can see Talladega. Talk about a game of 50-50 and luck. As she as she can see already in the qualifying, we are we are already going three wide. Oh oh, as Hunty just gets drilled to the bottom of the track. But uh, yeah, I mean, today I mean the strat is to basically just drive conservative. I mean, we did, I think I did good the last time we went to Talladega. As you see, I'm going to go three wide rod heel. But the, this is our second trip to Talladega this season. Uh, the last time, stage one, we got like, we didn't get stage points because we got taken out in the first, what, 25 seconds of the race. And we got up to P11. And then second stage, we got a nice third, P3. Then we finished second in the race. No, no, third in the race. We finished third in the race. So if we can duplicate that, I will, I will gladly appreciate it. SDJ, that was a close call. As we go into the, as everyone, two laps to, with two laps to go. This is the craziest I've seen Talladega. Like, it seems like no one is stable. As Duck King and Script just make contact. Duck King is all over the place. And I just, we're go, okay, we're going to go full wide. And then I'm going to try to come down. And, oh, and then we have contact is made. S we're gonna save it. Okay. That was. Eh. Minor contact. As we're coming to the white flag, well up to go in the qualifying race presented by Sprint. Hashtag cheap plug. And. Again, just, I mean. A problem is, is that we are all by ourselves, and well, no, we got a push now. From I cannot tell you who that is. Oh, that is Cam in the sixty-two. I didn't realize he had that nose, but uh. 
as we get off of the final time. I don't think this is going to be faster. We shall see, though. As I don't even check the lap time. As basically, we got. Basically, we got hit from the back. And it was just no braino after that. But, uh, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below to check out all the content from this season and the past seasons. Mainly this season, though, because the first race of the second round, I mean, this second round is going to be a doozy. With this race, then you have Sonoma, and then you have Las Vegas. So pretty, you have a pretty wide range of tracks and you don't want to miss it. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'm just say thank you if you do. Because without y'all there would be, there wouldn't be a channel. And I appreciate the support indeed. So we get ninth at a 49.023. Interesting, as Mayo Coop is on the pole, as he runs seven tenths faster than me, and that is team points, hashtag team points, but uh, we get ninth at a no two, that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I imagined, not gonna lie, um, Not gonna lie, um, yeah, basically, just yeah. Like I said, the plan we have, we still have a healthy point. That gap is gonna come back to us. The the playoff points gap that I attained throughout the season, twenty points. And in comparison to ninth place, which, in case you don't know, we have 13 people in this round. After after Las Vegas, in three races, it's going to be down to eight. And right now, to ninth, I have a 17-point gap. So, I've got some cushion to play with. I guess I could have one bad race technically but I mean I need to I need to get my mojo back I've been terrible these last couple of races finishing rise and I just need to get my mojo back and I don't know if Talladega is the place to do it as the race is now stored and we're going to be moving up through this field quickly we go up to 8th 7th 6th just like that in one swoop as what on okay as we have a i mean and you're gonna see this throughout the whole time we're gonna have checkup after checkup after checkup and no it's not to the doctor's office i mean this is just this is just straight up talladega right here boys but, um, yeah, TG is going to go out of line here. We're going to move up into fifth, more checkup, but we're going to eventually get around up for fifth. Cool beans. So, 13 laps in this stage. We have to make one pit stop. A part of the strat is to be on pit road for this short a stop as you can to maintain your position on the track and don't get killed on pit road as Talladega is probably the worst track for pit stops so we we will cross that bridge when we get to it as for now though 
We'll look at 11 laps to go. Just lap three of the race. And basically, we're just, I'm just protecting the line. Um, I know this is probably not going to be the most exciting Talladega race, but it's something you have to do. It's something you have to do, because, I mean, you can just, if you go out of line, you can't risk losing about six, seven, eight spots. It's just not going to cut the mustard. Not going to cut the mustard at all, so, we're just going to ride... In fifth, we got T-Bone, Spank, and whoever behind us. In front of us, we got Scrub, Cam. I think that's Justin and Mail. Now, Scrub is not in the playoffs anymore. He got eliminated. However, the one, two, three, four. Sid said at the top, no. What is it? I see Hunty back there. Pretty much everyone in the top eight except for Scrab is in the playoffs is Hunt teammates appeal down pit road. Interesting. As we got nine laps to go. And the checkup remains real. As basically, I'm just, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. As Scrib, it's just, can, he goes down below. No one, does anyone come down pit road? No. As we're going to complete lap six. Eight laps to go in the stage. Um, now the question is, when do we come down pit road? Um, basically, I, I, I don't want to come down when everybody else does. Because that will just create chaos. That will create chaos. So with that said, we're going to come down right now. Me and Cam are coming down. Team on Wheel 2 is... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> As T-Bone just comes down with us. And Cam just got sent. Sent into the grass. Goodness gracious. Goodness. As T-Bone is gone, that's about a second, how far was that gap, a second and a half, two seconds, did he get that, I don't think he got a 1.8 seconds, I don't think he got enough gas in that tank, honestly, if he did a half a can, I mean, I don't know, I'm not the, I'm not the one making that pick call, but if he did a half a can, that's going to be really interesting. Really interesting indeed. But, however, we do have help coming from the backside. As you see, Trilogy and Hunty, the boys, if you will, they are coming, and... I'm probably just going to tuck in behind them and just try to draft as we have six laps to go in the stage. And here they come. And I'm going to go high as that was, that was a kind of a close call. We're just going to tuck in behind them and, and just stay with the draft. 
I, I lose a couple of spots, but uh, it's okay. The question is, is T-Bone too full ahead of us in five laps? We'll come into five laps to go. I don't know. But as you can see, Cam is, after that punt, he is now three and a half, four, close to four seconds behind me. And TG was five seconds behind us. As the leaders haven't came down pit road yet. The question is when are they going to pit? And the, another question, a follow up if you will. Will, will we beat them out? I don't know. It's going to be close though unless they just get a godly pit stop. And will they crash? Because I believe the 88 the sits, the 88 the sits, the 48, yeah, just those three will want a different strat. Really interesting. And they, it's been good to them up to this point. But the question is, can they keep it? And will they maintain on pit road? So, I'm just riding behind Hunty and Trilogy. We'll catch in T-Bone pretty quickly. Probably going to get around them soon. Maybe. As we do see people coming back onto the track, there is Mayo Coop in the 88 completely by himself. That must mean that he got screwed big time. But I wasn't with them, so I do not know the situation. With that said, the other three. All together. Oh, and Spank. It's the eighty. It's the eighty-eight. The twenty. Okay, so Mail, Spank, Justin, and Scribble want to strat together. As we have caught T-Bone, and T-Bone is just gonna ride with us. As we're coming to two laps to go. It's four on three, but the I don't think we're gonna catch them in time for anything as basically we're just gonna see what happens now in the for the stage maybe we can try to steal a position or two but just hucking it left But just hugging it left and trying not to, trying not to be nice. As we're coming to the white flag, one up to go. And stage one presented by Chipotle, hashtag cheap plug. We are gaining on those three. However, I don't think it's going to be enough. As I'm we're just still chilling in P7. Oh, and oh, hunty. That was close as T-Bone goes out of line. Hunty's going to go with him but then comes back down. And then Hunty's going to go underneath Trilogy. We're kind of three wide. Three wide. I, I think I would, something happened. I think T-Bone's had a gas. Not even going to lie. I think he's had a gas. We get around Trilogy. We're up to fifth now. Coming to the end of the stage. And then what? Oh. 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 And Hunty, Hunty just slammed on the brakes and just let me go for fourth. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let's move up to fourth place now. And we go from seventh to fourth for stage one in the last half a lap. Thank you. 
Every point counts. And so, that's a success, stage one. Really successful stage one. Hopefully stage two will be the same way. Now I got a feeling that there might be some trickery as we do select the pit. There might be some trickery between these three, the 22, the 48, and the 6. I'm going to be on point as stage 2 is now live. Spank is really getting out of the gas. And I'm really pushing Scrib. Scrib gets down. Contact is made behind us. 10 laps. Now, just like in the first Talladega race, you can make it to the end. But the question is, at what price? Well, there's no price, really. Like, I'm going to try to make it to the end on gas heel. The question is, how many other people are going to do it with me as Trilogy and Luke make contact? And I'm just going to cut down right in front of me. You got to do what you got to do to get in the inside. Outside is just ridiculous. Well, we have a checkup. That was sl that was bad. We haven't even hit 200 yet. Till now. At the end of the straightaway. More checkup. As Mayo is just ramming into the back. And I don't blame him. He's telling me to come on. I think this whole... Line is trying to save gas. I'm playing it safe as they're just stopping without warning. As here it is again, and may oh well, well, <laughs> well, that is the problem with <sighs> that is the problem with checking up because you don't know when the other guy is going to stop. As Mayo was trying to make something happen on the outside. Major got into the back of me. And then Major and Mayo made contact. And then poor Mayo gets just shot up into the fence. And it's appropriate that his sponsor is Nationwide Insurance. Because after that hit, he's going to need... He's going to need... <laughs> he's going to need, need a lot of it. I can't say need all of a sudden. So, back to the, back to the race. We're just going to continue to check up like this. As Scrib just falls all the way back. I don't know why he just chose to go to the high side. But he goes from the top five all the way to the back of that pack. Seven laps to go. From Talladega. From Talladega. <laughs> Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. As I feel like, I mean, I've done this strat multiple times for this race. I did it in the fourth season, the fifth season, and now this season twice. And I can tell you that you really don't need to be saving this much. If you want to make it to the end. We're going to be uber safe. Excuse me. We're going to be uber safe. Six laps to go. We all in six. I don't know how many people are in that pack. Looks like we have about ten. I see seventh is major. Eighth is duck. I saw someone peeking behind duck. Going to see a black hole in the back. So we have 10. More checking up. T-Bone tried to look under Hunty, but just couldn't do it. And it becomes a game of chicken, if you will. Because who's going to go high? Now, honestly, as that is just really slow. 
Now, if we're going to be 100, I would love to go to the outside, but the problem is you don't want to do it too early, because then stuff could happen. As we're continuing to save gas, here comes another checkup, right here. As Major's doing a really good job not plowing, in, plowing into the back of the Camaro. And that brand new Give Blood scheme for Mr. Spy. And I could attest to saying that this is one of the most boring Talladega races. But it is what you have to do. So, coming to four laps to go, you can see the gas. I think we've saved enough gas. Or well, I've saved enough gas. I don't know about the rest of these people. I mean, we can probably save, I don't know, 55,000 laps the way we're going. As we're coming to complete another lap, and we're getting closer and closer to it. I really want to make a move on these guys, because if they keep checking up like this, then, you know, it'll be easy pickings. So we got three laps to go, and I think I have saved enough. Contact is made. There we go, Matrix. He's had enough of it. And then he gets below me. Oof. As we have more of a checkup, and that's a huge checkup. T Bone. Oh no. Oh no. And that was just really, really bad timing. There goes Ryan, who's all by himself. And then comes down Pit Road immediately as that is just really unfortunate and that's another problem of checking up so much that happens as now we have two laps to go and I am all by myself in eighth place this is just unreal that is just sad there was eight people in the... No, there was nine people in the pack. And we're going to finish eighth. Scrib got the worst end of the deal, though. He's tenth. And probably going to get tenth. But, uh... I just ran into the back of somebody. I just... No warning at all. As we're coming to the end of stage two, one up to go, presented by Josie Mites, hashtag cheap plug. Unless there's a crash, we're gonna finish safe. As all of that saving was done. For absolutely nothing. As we get crashed by just pure stupidity. Pure, unadulterated stupidity. And we're going to get eighth. Probably could have been Heil. But it is what it is. That's okay. As we're going to get eighth this time. Uh, that looks. I think that looks good. Now for stage three. 
The plan for state. Okay. The plan was just to make it to stage three. We're going to be in the top half of the field. The gig is basically going to be survive the pit stop, then try to get the win. And if you can't get the win, try to be as high up as you can. That's going to be the plan. With that said, stage 3 is live and they do the exact same thing. So that was worse. We gained 3 spots on that, but I think we're going to lose them all back. As I almost timed it perfectly to get in behind T-Bone. But I was 1 second too early. And look at all the spots I'm going to lose. I just have to make evasive action. I cut Luke off at the last second. We go back to 13th place. There's only 15 people in the pack. I don't know what happened to the 16th. Has been okay. Been ducking. He's just gonna kill the wall, and we're gonna get a couple of spots with other people. So now, well, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the good news is, I mean, we all like a second ahead behind. We're just a second behind, and we're just riding along. That's the good news. The bad news. There's a lot. I think literally almost everybody in this race is in this single file line. And I don't know if I approve of this or not because this pit stop is going to be absolutely crazy. And this pit stop is going to be absolutely pure luck. You better hope and pray that. You don't get ran over on pit road. As Scrub again goes high for whatever reason. Someone needs to tell that man the bottom is the way to go. He goes back all the way to the back. Probably right next to last. Honestly. Because I think there's literally 15 people in that pack. <laughs> Ducking hit the wall and I think he lost the draft. As Duck and TG go high, for whatever reason, we get a we get around DJ. We don't get around TG though, as we're just moving our way up through this pack. Me and Lugal, me and Lugal just continuing to come up through the pack, up to 9th and tenth. We were thirteenth and fourteenth. It's called never leaving the bottom of the track, as we're now seven tenths behind. So, I mean, we are definitely in the game right now. As I'm just playing it really safe right now for the quick list. Or the checklist. Camaro. And... We got 14 laps to go. We're getting towards the end of this bad boy. I mean, all we're going to do all I'm going to do is just ride in this pack till I mean, you absolutely just can't. That's the plan. And so so I mean, I can attest to saying, as we're coming up on pit stops in the next three to five laps, that this has been a really interesting 
way of this race playing out. As Trilogy just goes way wide, I think he got loose, and there he goes. Uh, he's just going to fall to the back end of this pack. But, um, basically, everyone is just playing passive and playing conservative until they absolutely can't. And I think that's interesting because we haven't really had a big crash in this race. No one has, like, no one has really crashed. And that's interesting. Like, you probably won't see much animation. The, like, the hardest hit I've seen in this race is probably Cam and T-Bone on Pit Road. Or whatever happened to Mayo and Major in Stage 1 on Pit Road. But other than that, or in Stage 2 when that crash happened, but, you know, that was... M compared to the past, it's... I mean, compared to the past... That was really minor, and just, I mean, I don't know. I think these people have kind of learned how to drive. But this race is still not over yet. Ten, 11 laps to go, coming to 10. Pit stops are going to happen soon. Check up. Huge check up. And, I mean, I would really like to keep these points. I've had, what, a fourth and an eighth. That's, what, ten points? As Mayo is going to get fired out, and Roach is going to pass him. I would like to have a pretty good finish. Three laps of field estimated. Two laps of field estimated. Now this is when you're going to see people come down pit road. And this is where you're going to see this. To be 100, this is where you're going to see this race. Either won or lost. As we're going to have people coming down pit road. Trying not to kill each other. But I can just see it now. Someone is going to get killed and drilled through the grass. And they're going to finish in the back. As here comes the first, oh, just two people pitted, oh gosh, that could have not worked out any worse for me, as I, I only two people pitted, two, oh, <laughs> and we'll, everybody's coming this time, you want to talk about mayhem, this is about to be mayhem. How many people we got? Eight? Oh, God. <laughs> this is about to be mayhem on Pit Road. As everyone is just giving up to come down Pit Road. And here we go. <laughs> They're all coming down. And we all make it through. Okay. Okay. Oh, Spank gets spun, but he gets it back. Oh, wait. Is Mayo blocking me in? I, no. No. He's blocking me in. Oh, I can't come down. Oh, you... F huh? huh? Are you... F what? Are you freaking kidding me? Can I even make it back around? What? Well, I knew something had to happen for that pit stop being too good. And with that said, so, you know, just something just had to happen. As now we're just, na oh, let's, we're out, boys. We are out. Of gas.
this is just that's pain. The, I mean, if anything, if the, if it couldn't get any worse, that was that was rock bottom. I cannot believe that happened. Like we get blocked in, and we can't even come to. What well, that's stupid. There goes our chance. There goes our went. There goes our chances of a good finish. And for the third race in a row, we're gonna finish outside the top ten. Just absolutely dreadful. Look at this. We are twenty seconds, thirty seconds behind the leader. Are you fr? Mm. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Dude, this is that's bullshit. Like seriously, how the get the game the game does not want me to win. Like. I guess you have to make your own luck, and we are not it right now. I mean, I'm all by myself. You don't want to see me run the bottom line, but how many lives we got left? Flagman, sit for- no. I'll see y'all- I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm done. And we back as we're coming to the white flag. One up to go. Sent about BJ's Travis you know, Hashtag cheap plug. And this sucks. I mean, we almost got lapped at the end. Another lap and I would have been lapped. But uh, this is this is not fun. We are, we, uh, we, we, we are literally a half a track behind the Nets Pulsen. That is not okay. That is not Gucci in the club, as they say. I mean, we're going to finish 14th. Thank God for the, for the 20 playoff points I accumulated throughout the season. And courtesy of live, and courtesy of taped television and taped video, uh, I can tell you that we are now 6 points out oh no we are 10 points out of the playoffs i mean in the we are 10 points ahead of the cut line we are seventh however we're going to sonoma next luke who is ninth is a pretty good little road racer in that go daddy chevy and congrats to hunting on the dub i don't know how he did it but it is what it is um Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Luke is a pretty good little road racer. The big jump, the biggest winner at Talladega was the guy who finished P3, which is T-Bone, in the 42. He went from 12th to 8th, and he is now in the playoff. He, he is now, he's, I'm 10 points ahead of Luke. Six points ahead of T-Bone. However, T-Bone is not the best road racer. So I'm going to have to come in my A game at Sonoma to build up the gap. And to ensure myself a spot in the next round. Will you be there? You better be. And with that said, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And peace out, boys.